Hey. Hey, hello. What is it? More tattoos. Can't hear ya. I want more tattoos. Please. No. Come on, it's been over a year since the last one. Do you have a job that pays the bills? No, but there's a pen. Because you are paying the rent, like you said it would by now. I made my point. It's good for content. Hey peeps, I'm Iku. And I'm stranded here in Brussels, waiting to be able to resume my plans to move to Tokyo. So until then, I want to experiment with content that I want to make instead of making things that I think others want me to make and has been making me feel a little stupid stuck in a Japan-only content box, hence the lack of videos lately. So sorry if this is not your cup of tea, but know that I am still planning to move to Tokyo eventually, so at one point we'll all get what we want. But honestly, I want to have fun again with this channel and be creative and one of my favorite videos from the past that I love cringing at is the My Tattoos video, which I have made three years ago. So about time for an update and more tattoos, maybe? So I believe that at the time of filming that past video, I had four tattoos and I now have nine tattoos and about 20 more ideas because it's true what they say once you start it's hard to stop but for us let's start from head to toe <laughs> this is my very first tattoo that i got when i was i think 19. i had wanted this tattoo for a very long time and i was in a phase where nothing scared me i was living away from home for the first time and discovering my independence and i got a bunch of new piercings i felt like i could really be my true self which was this little punky rock emo chick um <laughs> i let myself get really deep into manga and especially Paradise Kiss and Nana from the same author and that's still my favorite author to this day and that's when I discovered this type of butterfly Papilio Macaon or Old World Swallowtail and I think it looked so beautiful it looked like jewelry that I just had to have on my skin like a necklace and obviously it's a butterfly so for the meaning it's like spreading my wings and finding my independence you know so um i went to the first and only uh tattoo place that i knew of in the city uh don't do that ever do your research first uh, but yeah, I printed it out, showed it to the place, and got it on the same day, which is crazy. I don't think I also got this piercing on the same day, which is kind of mad when I think about how I used to be so impulsive back in the day. And impulsive slash break, I kind of miss that. But yeah, it could have turned out to be a real disaster because I didn't know the tattoo artist, I didn't know his style, I didn't know how many years he had to been doing this job. I thank my lucky stars that it turned out the way it did because it's still one of my favorite tattoos to this day. If not one of my favorite, it's hard to pick. Moving down, I have this gorgeous Vague Visir rune tattoo that I think I got two years or one and a half year ago. I don't remember exactly. And I do not remember how I came across this tattoo, how I was researching it, but it's been in my tattoo folder for a very long time. And um, I just remember loving the signification of this tattoo so much that, well, of this tattoo, of this symbol so much that I had to get it as a tattoo. It's basically a warrior protection charm. It's supposed to symbolize a compass that will indicate the, the way to go, like the direction, even if the destination itself is not found and as someone who has felt consistently lost throughout their life even now i still feel like i'm stumbling 
across the dark I hope this would bring me the strength I needed to go on like a warrior Now I got this a couple of months after the worst breakup of my life and I was starting to feel strong again I was starting to feel powerful and I was going through a biking phase so I got this tattoo through a very talented acquaintance of mine and I think from a technical standpoint this is the best tattoo I currently have it's just on that same arm I have this tattoo which a lot of people have already noticed and I have had it for a while now and no it is not a cheeky suit but my zodiac sign and to be honest it might be the only tattoo that I kind of regret having and would consider maybe covering it up with something else but also it's part of my story so I don't really know what's gonna happen to this one over the years you never know the story behind it is that I had a friend that was just getting started with learning how to tattoo and I was looking for something simple for him to practice on me with and that's what I came up with I'm actually not that much into horoscopes and astrology but I do identify very strongly with my zodiac sign which is Cancer aka moody and sensitive uh, two of my traits that I always kind of struggled with so it was kind of my way of me taking control over my sign and not it controlling me type of thing um, you know wearing the crab badge proudly if you will but yeah not a 69 though as most people think <laughs> then we have the contender for favorite tattoo and that is the strawberry finger i feel like this is a signature piece like you know a piece of jewelry that you wear all the time and that really defines you and that's 100 percent what I was going for when researching this design you know, um, Cara Delevingne has her lion tattoo on her finger and since I'm a countryside girl who likes strawberry that's what I went for and uh, I mean finger tattoos are a very big leap like a very big responsibility if you will and it did 100% end my career my career as a hand model uh, but I wouldn't change a thing about it I love this tattoo so freaking much and uh, I went to Paris to get it done by a guy I knew who was just a technical expert with this type of thing and yeah, what can I say? The dude's an artist What's up? It's time to do that thing You know, what makes all of this possible Oh yeah Hey! It's time to shout out my lovely patrons for their support this month through the Patreon shoutout challenge which you can join for only one dollar on Patreon Seriously, every little counts So with my patrons, we figure out a challenge for me to do while I read out their names and thank them for their wonderful support And thank goodness for me because I'm a little bit under the weather You might be able to see it on my face Today's challenge is not a physical one first time usually it's a plank or an ab hold it was almost a squat hold but this time we are going to read out the patreon acknowledgement list in french maybe one day i'll even be able to do it in japanese who knows give out your ideas on my patreon page that is patreon.com slash links down below Donc, C'est parti Et cette fois, je vais besoin de aller sur mon téléphone parce que nous avons des nouveaux membres C'est absolument génial Donc un tout grand merci pour votre support ce mois-ci, ça m'aide énormément, je vous en suis très reconnaissante Merci à Chetana Rola, Dipa Kadav, Marilou, Archie Patricio, Jay Karen, Richard Fujinami, Kenji Swift et Devil Khan J'espère que vous aimez entendre votre nom avec mon accent français ou plutôt mon accent belge Je vous remercie énormément pour votre support et... À la prochaine. Right, on the other arm I have the Pikachu tattoo which most of you already know from my last trip to Tokyo where I got it done I've always had a little bit of a soft spot for Pikachu and it felt like the right opportunity to have it done abroad as a little souvenir It is the last tattoo that I had done and I must admit that I'm a little bit annoyed at how it's starting to age already it's kind of starting to look a little bit fuzzy but then again I'm a perfectionist I'm aware that I need to look at it more as a memory and be less focused on the technical aspect of things I was actually considering getting 
um, another Pokemon tattoo of my actual favorite Pokemon. Comment in the comments if you know which one that is. Uh, so I got it already and uh, I inquired about the pricing and that it's just not gonna be possible right now. So right now it's just staying in my big old tattoo folder. I'm looking forward to getting it. Next is my Daruma, which I think I got around two years, two and a half years ago, maybe even a bit longer. And uh, yeah, another good luck charm tattoo. I had it done by the same guy who did my zodiac sign, the same trainee, so that's why it's a little bit wonky and uneven. But I drew this design and um, I was very much into wanting good luck and wanting all my wishes to be fulfilled. Like, I mean, I still want my hopes and dreams to be fulfilled, but I remember back then going through a time where it was almost desperation like I wanted things and I wanted them now and um, I wanted all the good luck on my side so this is why I got a Daruma as a tattoo with one I filled in to make my wish and with the hope that I get to fill out the other eye sometime soon soon would be good anytime now <laughs> Another wish fulfillment tattoo is my 1111 on my side. Uh, yeah, it's kind of the same story as a Daruma, same tattoo artist. I think I got it after the 69, but before the Daruma. And I just wanted my wishes to come true. I wanted all the good luck on my side. And to this day, I still get really excited when I randomly see 1111 on the clock. Back then, it felt like I could win the lottery if I saw 11-11 like, on consecutive days. I was obsessed. I thought I was going to get the greatest luck in the world. But yeah, over the years and a big old nasty streak of bad luck... Uh, I'm just going to say I'm glad that I have a roof over my head and that my family is okay. Shut up. Finally, we got the bunny tattoo on my foot, which is the second tattoo I ever got. I drew this one while I was still in art school, but then waited a couple of years to get it. I don't remember how long, about two years, I think. Okay, I just moved that way. I'm sorry I'm not in the center of the frame anymore, but my neighbor is having smoke across the street and I don't want him to look at me right in front of the window talking to the camera but yeah this tattoo is definitely more representative of the state of mind i was back then it represents a shy rabbit but standing on its hind legs to get like a better view and i remember at the time not feeling as brave as i used to as when i was 19 uh, art school had ended i didn't know what i was doing and it just felt very overwhelming so this is definitely representative of myself needing to have courage to stand up uh, like the little bunny on my foot and uh, for your information foot tattoos do not tend to age quite well because it's uh, always inside a sock or a shoe so with friction on your skin it doesn't always age very well but all things considering I think this one looks quite nice still even though it's one of my oldest tattoos and one other thing that you might want to know is that foot tattoos hurt like a mother Okay, I can move back to the center now. There's a lot of noise outside. I'm very sorry about that. Cannot do anything about it. But those were all my current tattoos. And what now? That's eight. You said there were nine. So you are interested. No. You said there were nine. I want to know where the rest of the money went. Dude, you know where the other one is. What's the story behind that one? I think I'll keep that one to myself. Thank you very much. Some things are best kept secret. Or you'll just have to give me an incentive to release that story. Let's say if this video gets a thousand likes. Good luck with that. Anything else to add? Nope. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this video. It felt nice to do something more old school Ikutri for a change. And uh, let me know in the comments if you have any tattoo related questions, if you have any experiences that you want to share all in the comments down below. Join the Ikutri squad by subscribing to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you all very soon in the next video. I'll worry you up. Bye!